up here at Vineyard Haven, where the kidnappers were supposed to have been, and also at the harbor of Menemshaw. It was in this country that Lindbergh was told to fly, over Cuttyhunk and Martha's Vineyard. He was to be shown the spot where his baby had been found, but his trip was in vain. In the meantime, an old lecturer named Condon claimed to have made contact with the kidnappers. The story goes that he received a note at a florist shop under a table. This note told him to bring $50,000 in five, tens, and twenties to St. Thomas Cemetery at Whitmore and Tremont Avenue. He was to take the money supplied by Lindbergh to a hedge and hand it over. That's what he did, $50,000. And to this day, the baby is still missing and Lindy's out his 50,000. Crime added to crime. But out in Chicago, Tom Marshall has invented an invisible ray that does all sorts of things when anything's passed in front of it. The handkerchief showed the direction of the ray. Here's the way it works. After the mother has put her baby to bed, the switch is turned on. The window, of course, is the kidnapper's favorite entrance. And this fellow, reenacting the Lindbergh case, runs through to type. Closer and closer to the slumbering child, the household's asleep. The coast looks clear. And when he'll pass the ray, he'll close a contact that turns on the light and rings an alarm bell. All rats are frightened by sudden noise and light. He can't get away fast enough. But the baby's rescued by one of the most sensational inventions of the day. And is he glad? And is Mama glad? Just look at him.